Steam sir, I am a worthy friends. Today I am very glad because I have got a chance to speak before you. I, Dr. Ravi Shankara, Assistant Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering with the Specialization of Automation and Robotics at Sandeep Institute of Technology and Research Center, Nasik, Maharashtra. I am here to give my presentation on the occasion of International Research Award on Composite Material 2023. I have been uh, selected as the best research award and this is the topic upon which I am going to give the presentation which is development of metal oxide nanostructure interface in basalt fiber reinforced polymer composite for structural application. Before going to the details of the presentation, these are the outlines of the presentation that I am going to discuss here. Uh, this uh, entire presentation is start with the introduction, zinc oxide dense nanostructure, objective, materials and methodology, characterization and analysis and al along with the conclusion and future scope. Composite materials. In a composite material, different systems are combined judicially to achieve a system with more useful structural or functional properties non-attainable by any of the constituent alone. It is, the, it is said by just Joe Sethol in 2020, 2012. So basically composite materials are anisotropic and inhomogeneous material which is a combination of chemically, to, I mean two or more uh, individual material which must be chemically distinct phase physically distinct fit separated by the distinct interface. This is the pictorial representation of the uh, different factors upon which the composite materials property will be used uh, like concentration, size, shape, distribution and orientation. So the design goal is to obtain a more desirable con combination of properties which is the principle of combined action such as low density at high strength. Basalt fiber reinforced polymer composite are a mineral fiber. Basically basalt fiber is a mineral fiber manufactured from the volcano rock, their composition consisting in a mixture of inorganic oxide, silica being the main constituent and alumina are the second one. So uh, basalt is inherently environment, environmental friendly, having the excellent properties such as mechanical properties, thermal stability, corrosion resistance, chemical stability, caustic and thermal insulation properties, good, good compatibility with the other materials. And which is so here, uh, basalt is act as an reinforcement and bisphenol epoxy resin as a polymer matrix. So the matrix is epoxy resin which is cross-linked either with the themselves or catalytic homopolymerization or with a wide range of co-reactants. So reaction of polyepoxide with themselves or polyfunctional hardness form a thermosetting thermo polymer. So this is the pictorial representation of the basalt fiber, different form of the basalt fiber uh, and this is the uh, cross-linking structure of the bisphenol epoxy resin. So these are the entire uh, application range of the BFF, BFRP composites, this, which is basal fiber reinforced polymer composite. So these are the various applications uh, which is start from the road, aerospace, petroleum, concrete, automobile and composite bar. Composite bar. Composite bar. Uh, along with that, there are some electrical applications that is wind turbine, conductor, cross arm poles, insulating pole rods and blades. So this has a wide range of the application. So there are various research which must to be done on the basis of the BFRP composite so that the enhanced strength of the BFRP composite can be achieved for the required applications. So these are the some literatures which give the motivation uh, to do the work based on the BFRP composite and the insertion of the secondary reinforcement that is metal oxide nanostructure into the BFRP composites. So out of the literatures, I have been found that the researchers have already used different types of fiber and fillers, but the properties such as impact strength have not improved to the desired level for advanced structural application. So there must be a development of uh, reinforced material or the secondary reinforcement technique by the researcher to achieve the advanced properties. So to improve the interfacial strength as well as stress transfer, multi-scale hybrid composite, where more than one reinforcement media is used and that has to be developed. So recent researcher studied metal oxide nanostructure in application in various heterogeneous field. So there has been a le less uh, research on the mechanical properties of the metal oxide nanostructure FRP composites such as impact behavior and elastic modulus. So the task is the development of high performance ZNO nanostructure basalt fiber composite material. So in which we have synthesized the ZNO nanostructure on woven, woven basalt fiber via hydrothermal method, morphological studies of the grown ZNO nanostructure, effect of synthesis condition on a ZNO nanostructure, fabrication of comp uh, their composite and the study of their impact strength and their damage mechanism. 
so this is the next nano structured uh, woven uh, basalt fiber hybrid composite so initially people used to add matrix i mean cnt into the directly into the matrix so where may be the problem of agglomeration and dispersion of the cnts into the matrix so in this concept we are directly growing the nano structure onto the surface of the fiber with the help of hydrothermal method so due to which we can grow the um, uh, we, we can enhance the interfacial strength of the carbon fiber i mean uh, basalt fiber reinforced composite so why we are growing because we can see if there is no nano structure the impact force is like this and if we grow the nano structure there must be a interfacial interaction between the different nano wires and their interface and the matrix and the fiber so that the damage mechanism will be changed initially it was only matrix crack delamination at the interface area and fiber breakage but due to the nano structure there must be additional damage mechanism which is nano rod pull out crack deflection nano structure breakage so this is the zinc oxide and nano uh, and its nano structure zinc oxide is a versatile metal oxide nano structure which can be used for the different heterogeneous applications so these are the materials and methodology which has to be used for the fabrication of jadonone on the basalt fiber hydrothermal method basically deals with the preparation of seed solution and growth solution so seed solution is a mixture of zinc acetate dihydrate in a ethanol and uh in a sodium hydroxide and the sodium hydroxide so and growth solution is a equal molar uh, solution of the hexamethyl tetraamine and zinc nitrate hexahydrate in a distilled water solution these are the different chemical reaction which has which completed at the during the process of the heat treatment uh, seed treatment and the growth treatment so uh, the process of preparation of jadon and structure on woven basalt fiber is initially we have to do the surface treatment to remove all the dirt particle or the dust particle upon the surface on on upon the fabric surface and the seed treatment in which we dip the sample uh in a seed solution for 15 minutes and followed by the uh, heating at 120 degrees celsius for 15 minutes so this is a cycle of 15 minute of dipping and 15 minute of heating so growth solution and then this seeded sample has to be kept inside the growth solution for a 6 hour of processing time at a constant temperature of 100 degrees celsius and after that the samples has to be withdrawn from the oven and dried them with the deionized water to hold the further growth and dried in a 30 dry, dried in a ambient condition for 36 uh, 24 to 36 hours so this is the simple seed sample which has been seeded particles has been seen and this is the separate growth solution growth sample uh, there are some tiny grown nano structure is there but if we do the process by seeding followed by the growth treatment then we can have the uh, uniform growth of the nano structure having a uh, hexagonal uh, cross section so this is the entire layout for the fabrication of jadano woven basalt fiber epoxy hybrid composite started with the seeding and then uh, grow and then growth solution and with the help of vacuum bagging method we have fabricated the sample this is the morphological and structural characterization so different morphological characterization has been done on the basis of their uh, varying molar concentration this is the 10 millimole concentration 30 millimole concentration 50 millimole and 70 millimole concentration so this is millimole concentration is a concentration of the growth solution uh, uh, reactants which is zinc acetate dihydrate and uh, hmta and zinc nitrate hydride hexahydrate so hexagonal nano structure has been developed and with the help of eds spectra it has been found that there is an enormous amount of the zinc and oxygen present on the surface along with that the uh, xrd spectra gives the uh, uh, crystalline peak of the jadano uh, at a different uh, angular positions so which verifies the presence of the jadano on the surface of the woven basalt fiber after the morphological characterization uh, the sample has been tested by drop weight impact testing using the drop weight impact tester so as the concentration of jadano increases the impact energy absorbed by the sample is also increases and the highest impact energy absorbed by the sample is 7.621 joule which is uh, very significant than the uh, bare uh, woven basalt fiber reinforced composite where no jadano structure was there which is the 4.327 joule only as well as the fracture mode is also changed and it was like uh, from initial it was fiber breakage and pull out but as the uh, nano structure increases the fiber matrix failure and interface failure has been done due to the failure of the nano rod and sustain the highest energy absorbed and further the fracture surface topography has been studied along with the 
uh, analysis of impact energy impact absorb impact energy on the basis of the time taken by the time taken to to get the sample field due to the impact loading so as the metal oxide nanostructure i mean jet nanostructure concentration increases time taken to the failure is also increases along with the impact energy absorption and the fracture surface topography deals with that initially it was only delamination fiber fracture fiber pull out on a bare fiber bare cfrp but as the nanostructure increases there is a debonding crack debris nanostructure pull out and debonding of the different jadano nanostructure and their breakers along with the presence of interfacial jadano nanostructure has been seen on a sample and further the stress strain characteristics of the sample has been checked and it was seen that the significant amount of stress absorbed by the system is increases along with that the tensile strength of the sample increases elastic modulus of the sample is also increases and the in plane shear strength of the sample is increases as compared to the plain uh, woven basalt fiber reinforced polymer composite so in fact we can say that as uh, by the addition of the jadano structure uh, the mechanical characteristics such as uh, impact strength tensile strength and elastic modulus are improved so uh, the result and discussion deals with that the crystalline growth of jadano has been seen through the hydrothermal technique and initially it was a wire like structure which has been grown to the hexagonal nano structure and the concentration of oh ion has a significant role along with that the ph should be maintained by 6 to 8 and the nano structure characteristics has been studied with the help of different advanced characterization techniques there are three major parameters were considered which was the number of seeding cycle which is 2 4 and the concentration of growth solution 10 30 50 70 millimole and the length of the hydrothermal treatment 2 4 6 hours so the outcome of the synthesis with the two number of seeding cycle is unsuccessful irrespective of the highest concentration and the growth time because of the low number of seed treatment there is a no nucleation of the uh, nano structure along with that if a uh, duration of the uh, hydrothermal treatment is very less then again the growth is not successful so we have to maintain the these three parameter to get the optimum growth so there is a significant increase, increase in the impact energy uh, for a sample having the 70 millimole concentration which is 76% increment of the impact strength along with that the 44% increment in the tensile strength 48.63% in a tensile strength 46.44 in a inelastic modulus and 24 24.79% in a in plane shear strength so this result suggests that the delamination of the composite can be reduced by growing the nano structures as the molar concentration was increased length of the nano structure increases which provide large surface area and the bonding area between the fiber and matrix is significant increases significantly so the conclusion is uh, we can develop different morphology of the jadano by hydrothermal method on a different fabrics different characterization technique has been used uh, which can give the different uh, aspects of the grown nano structures and the highest highest amount of the jadano nano structure was grown at six seeding cycle six hours of growth treatment for the 70 millimole concentration as the contact surface area between the molecule increases the load transmission transmission is also increases thus the high high strength and delamination properties increases composite made up made up of the reinforced woven basalt fiber have poor impact strength but and due to its brittle nature but as the nano structure increases the brittle nature is reduces and the cross linking of the nano structure increases the interfacial parameter so these are the future work uh, which can be go for the like modification of the different jadano uh, different strategy can be used for the modification of jadano nano material that is doping coupling amount of doping can be changed time change time of doping can be changed type of doping and the uh do, different noble materials can be deposited these are the references which has been used for the preparation of this presentation thank you thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak about my work uh, and i am looking forward for the different questions and the collaborative work uh, so anyone can contact me through this email id and my mobile number thank you thank you for selecting me for the best researcher award on the basis of the composite material work